All right, hey, Hades Omega here, and welcome to another Hades Omega anime figure desktop show and tell with Aqua here from Konosuba. All right, so, so I, I actually wanted this figure for a long, long time. Ever since I seen the anime, I always wanted to get a uh, figure from Konosuba and and a figure of Aqua. All right, I'm a really big fan of Aqua. I think she's really hot. <laughs> okay, she's really hot and she's really cute. Is what I'm gonna say. She, yeah, she's kind of ditzy, that's what I'm going to say. I've always wanted a figure of Aqua, and actually I already do have a figure of her. I have the swimsuit figure, but I don't have one of her in her normal outfit, okay? So, um, the usual one she wears in the, in the anime, that's what I want to say. But um, this uh, Bellafine figure came out a while back. It's it's a pretty old figure now. Um, it came out like right around the time the first season of the anime came out, which has been out a while now. And uh, it was like a hundred twenty dollars, and you know, at that time, a hundred plus dollar figure was pretty expensive, guys. <laughs> I mean, it still is now, is what I say. But it's insane how much the the figure prices have gone. You know, like a lot, the majority of the figures, like scale figures, are more than a hundred dollars now. So that's just the way you know things are going now. Like, and and there's just so many figures out there. But anyway, there weren't there are not too many figures of Aqua out at the time, and this is the. Um, this is the one that I, you know, I try. Even the price figures were expensive for Aqua Man. She's a, she's an expensive girl. <laughs> All right, uh, she she's an expensive 3D girl. You know, if you're trying to get her in 3Ds, <laughs> say All right. Um, but yeah, this is one of the figures that I wanted. All right, I'd heard like, uh, it's not worth the money. It's kind of it's like price figurey. But we'll find that out when we open her up. Okay. Um, I've also got a pop up parade figure of. Aqua and I will be making a video for that after this one. So if you want to check that out, check that one out. I also have a swimsuit figure for Aqua also. So he's mega is a big Aqua fan and finally got some Aqua figures. So so where did I get this? I, I got this not too long ago, maybe like a month ago, from Akiba Soul. Alright. Akiba Soul has a pre-owned figure se section, alright, selection. And um they I found her for $57 and I already had the pop-up parade aqua and I hadn't taken her out yet but I was like you know what I wanted to buy this figure a long time ago but I just couldn't I just didn't pull the trigger on it man I, I don't think it was worth a, a hundred plus dollars you know but lo and behold I found her for $57 and I said hey you know what I'll I'll buy her I'll buy her because I love aqua <laughs> okay isn't she cute right um, so fifty-seven dollars with twelve dollars shipping. I, I think I got her with um, some Squid Girl figures. <laughs> I bought some Squid Girl figures, and uh, yeah, so it was like a twelve dollars flat rate shipping in the U.S. for Akiba Soul. So that's why I like Akiba Soul. They're they're in the United States. They sell figures in the United States, so the 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 shipping isn't like crazy, you know. And and you'll get it pretty quick. So I want to say, I ordered a lot of stuff from Akiba Soul. Um, yeah, I, that they're like my go-to place for pre-owned figures in the United States. Okay, so $57, Akiva Soul, all right? Um, and with $12 shipping, but I'm not gonna add that in there. Okay, so let's uh, do the uh, figure, sh let's, okay, so let's uh, start the figure show and tell. We're gonna take a look at the front of the box. So this is a Bellafine figure. I don't know if I have any, I think I have a Bellafine figure. I can't, I can't remember which one though. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think I have, I don't have too many Belfine figures, okay? It says here, Belfine Amazing Amusement Company, all right? And it says here, Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world, all right? That's the title of the, the anime and light novel. It says Konosuba here, Konosuba here. They definitely want you to know this is a Konosuba figure, okay, guys? And then we've got a picture of Aqua here, all right? The actual figure, about a half shot. Um, nice, it's a nice picture. And then this is the uh, Konosuba logo right here. Okay, I believe this is based off of probably the first season because I think the second season is like Konosuba 2 or something. All right, this is copyright 2016, Kadokawa. Um, it says Aqua here. I guess this is how you spell Aqua in um, Japanese. Aku-a, right? <laughs> and, then, um, and then you've got a window. All right, does this would this make a good uh, box figure? Yeah, I think this would make a good box figure. This is a good man. It's like that's I'd say that's like a seventy-five percent window. It, it looks good. You can see the figure in there. Um, I I would keep it as a box figure. Okay. Plus, I don't have space for it, so that's what 
might be what happens to her. <laughs> okay, but yeah, you can see the figure in there. Um, even with the protective plastic, I think it still looks nice, is what I want to say. But we're going to take her out, and we're going to take a look at her, all right? Katakawa sticker here, so you know it's genuine. Um, so the, bo the box is a little scuffed out, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a pre-owned figure. I'm pretty sure she had probably been uh, displayed before, but yeah, so you can see some of the blue coming off of here, over here also. Uh, and and the the w front window has a couple scratches on it. If you look at it at different angles in the light, you'll see some scratches around here, like middle micro scratches and stuff. So the edge is is white here, all right. Um, it's white here, 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 here. Yeah, not in the best of shape, all right. So I would say this is like a, a B figure, all right. Okay, here we've got an actual illustration of Aqua, and then the full picture of the figure. The Konosuba, another co different Konosuba logo right here. Aqua 1 8. Oh, I didn't go over the scale. But yeah, it, it is a 1 8 scale painted figure. It's also PVC because it says so on the front right here. Okay. I didn't read it because it was like Japanese. I think this art is by Kazuaki, or um, either this is the artist or the uh, the painter or the sculptor. Okay. It's, it's, it's one of those. Okay. Author. Uh, artist for this the sculptor or the painter all right it's one of those i can't read so if you if you, yeah if you guys can read that please uh please let me know what it says in the comments below okay and it just kind of got this yeah it's got this like kind of stripe stuff going on blue stripes because aqua that's her color okay and uh there's the Bellafine logo and the Konosuba again. Konosuba here, Aqua 1A, pretty much all the info that we've seen already. And we've got a figure of the front of the figure, a picture of the rear of the figure, and a, a booty shot of <laughs> the figure right here. Okay, then we've got all this in Japanese, so you can definitely tell this was probably more uh, to... Uh, this is a, a, a sold in Japan figure, because it's got mostly Japanese text on it. All right. But uh, yeah, bellfine.co.jp. Bellfine is the producer of this figure. All right, and here we've got pretty much the same illustration from the other side. Exact same, okay? All right, let's take a look at the top. Okay, there's actually a window for light on the top. That's nice, I like that. And the same information from the box and the bottom. Same information, but there's blue, okay? You can see it's... It's a little, it's all dirty. It's got like some styrofoam and some stuff on it. Okay, it's definitely a pre-owned figure. <laughs> okay, but she's mine now. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, let's unbox her. It's already uh, it's already kind of been open. So, all right, here we go. Okay, before I put the box away, here's what the inside looks like. It says Aqua in there in white. It says something about skills. She has like the water skill, right? She's like a priestess or something, right? And then uh, you can see it says Konosuba inside there. Um, very nice box. Like, like I said, I think this was a great box figure. So I think that's probably what we're gonna wind up doing, keeping her in the box. Okay. Okay, there she is, the lovely Aqua. All right, she was not hard to put together at all. Uh, there was just the base and the figure. I, I get the feeling that maybe her boots come off or something because I kind of I was kind of holding the figure and it felt like the the foot wanted to fall off or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but so she's held on by three pegs. I don't I don't even think I got them in there all the way. I don't think they want to go in anymore. Let me double check. Yeah, I had to press on it quite a bit. I don't know if this figure has ever been out of the box. That's that's a good question. I I don't think this has been out of the box. Um, yeah, because it looks it looks mint. I think. Oh man, there's like a scratch on her. So I see a defect already. Anyway, uh, maybe she has been out of the box. I don't know, <laughs> but she's she looks in pretty damn good shape. All right. So yes, she does look kind of price figurey, but I'll tell you now. Uh, well, well, I'll tell you guys it later. <laughs> All right, but anyway, yeah, there's the base. There's three pegs that hold her in. I think there's one on the front of her foot here and then two here, all right? 
and I had to press quite a bit to get her on there. She seems pretty secure. Oh, the the base is floppy, man. Oh, crikey's guys. Hold on, let me let me double let's double check. Oh yeah, there's yeah. The the base is not flat, guys. What the heck, dude? A hundred twenty dollar figure, guys, and the base isn't even flat. All right, that's one of the things I check nowadays on figures. If the base is flat, you know how how this is something very simple that some figure manufacturers or producers can't can even do. All right, and apparently this is pretty bad, guys. It wobbles a lot, man. So I think I will just keep her in the box. Um, okay. So anyway, let's uh, let's do a quick 360. Then Hades Mega is gonna take her, take a closer look at her, and then we're gonna go. We'll take a closer look at her and scrutinize this figure. Oh, but he's gonna see a cutie though. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay. okay, we're back. All right, I tried the duster, as you can see, in that last clip, and uh, yeah, it's not much came off, is what I want to say. Um, there's some QC stuff. I don't know if it's because um, she's a pre-owned figure and she's been displayed before, or... Um, or it's like a QC stuff. <laughs> okay. But anyway, let's. Um, I'm pretty impressed. All right. I'll tell you that now. Um, let's uh, start the base and we'll work our way up. Okay. So there's the base. The base is uh, this gloss white circular thing that's about a quarter inch in height. It's not flat, like I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty disappointed in that. I don't like how she bobbles around a whole lot. Um, there's the Konosuba logo right here. Very nicely printed on there. Okay, we'll just take a quick look around. Do I see any nub marks? I don't really see any nub marks. So other than it not being flat, it's um, it's an okay base. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. So let's go. Uh, like I said, uh, it's a one, one peg plastic. It's a plastic peg um, held by her foot here and then two pegs right here okay so I think uh, she's pretty well supported I don't think she's gonna droop or anything if you kept her on there all right so let's take a look at her boots all right so she's got these super long boots all right and I'm already gonna tell you guys uh, the paint on this figure is very good all right it, it is what I would expect out of a scale figure all right so I can see why they priced this at a hundred hundred plus dollars all right except for the floppy base <laughs> okay anyway here we go um so yeah here's her boots it is kind of like a dark blue kind of purplish color it has shading all right it gets darker where her knees bend all right or where her foot bends here and you can see it bunches up there so the molding is very nice i don't see any kind of jaggedy molding it's a gloss color her boots all right it's kind of like a vinyl kind of looking boot. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, it gets darker here and lighter here, then darker again. Very nice finish. It looks like there's a little dirt here. Mm, it's going to come off. No, it's like ugh, it's stuck in there. I, I'm pressing on it and ugh, I can't get it off. So that is stuck in the paint. I don't know. So there's some QC stuff. All right, generally sometimes dust stuff will come out, but that looks like it's been painted on there, right? Or some, it got damaged somehow. Um, yeah, there's some more stuff here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this finger, man. Okay, that came off. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so it gets lighter here, darker behind the knees, it, and you can see the folds and the and the boots. It doesn't seem like very comfortable boots. I've never worn boots that go up over my knees, so <laughs> I think it would be kind of weird. I think you would sweat a lot. You definitely have to wear some kind of sock, really long socks or stockings. Okay. So there it is. There, yeah. So they're kind of high. They're a high heel boot. All right. The heel goes up, gets up there pretty high, and it's like oh, there's like a triangle part here that's open. That's what I want to say. Okay. Same with the other side. Looks pretty good. Other than like yeah, there, there yeah, there's that one speck right there. All right. There's something right here too. Is it gonna come off? Yeah, it come out. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of dirty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then so the top here, the top part. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
Okay, the top part is like a yellowish gold color and it does have shading. It's a little darker up towards the bottom and it gets lighter towards the top. It's almost like a white color at the top. Like it turns from gold to like a light yellow. And you can see in it, I don't see any glue anywhere. I don't really see any kind of glue or anything. Looks good. All right, and notice the figure bobbles around a lot. <laughs> okay. Let's move up a little higher. Okay. Um, so she's wearing like a white kind of stockings or socks underneath. It's a matte white. Yeah, I would say that's a matte white. And it kind of, it's a little bit shiny. It's really smooth. The paint is really smooth on this figure. I like it. Um, that means like, you know, they prepped it really nicely and they used a good paint. Um, it's got yellow bands around the top. All right. Thigh high stockings, guys. I likes. All right, and then let's check out the absolute terror field, right? Is that that's what they call it? The area between the uh, the stockings and the skirt, right? She's and it goes quite high up. Aqua, I don't know. Aqua's kind of got it's kind of a long skirt, but it's kind of it goes up, all right. And so, if you guys are wondering, okay, okay. let's get this out of the way already. <laughs> Let me get some more light in there for you guys. All right, if you guys are wondering, she's wearing a blue pantsu, okay. You can take a look at the back. The, the back, you yeah, you can see a lot of booty. It's like a thong pantsu, okay? <laughs> yeah, because you can see her. You can see a good chunk of her butt cheeks, okay? So there, that's a little fan service for you guys. And it, you know, there is a rumor. There is a rumor that uh, Aqua does not wear pantsu. She goes commando all the time. And well, in the case of this figure, that's not true. She's wearing a blue pantsu, okay? Okay. Back to the the original height <laughs> all right so yeah there's her skin her skin looks really nice all right she's got some nice legs the paint is really nice it's not too shiny not too uh not too dull is what i want to say and the paint looks really consistent and soft i really want to touch her <laughs> type of thing yes and you can see i know it's hard to see but you can see through you can see her her booty her buttocks <laughs> like i said um she's uh she's wearing like a thong uh kind of kind of pantsu so you can see a lot of her butt so that's probably why you can see you know you can see a lot of her butt in the an anime because <laughs> she's wearing like a thong type of thing all right okay and then so here's her skirt her skirt has some like it looks like a clear kind of purpley stuff on it all right it's all frilly and stuff it's like she's wearing like a one of those clear shower curtains type of thing <laughs> All right, and then she's got a blue, and then the, the skirt on top of it is a blue, so it's like kind of like a two-layer kind of skirt. It looks kind of like a tutu, sort of. That's what I want to say. Um, and it's a blue color with like a gold kind of border around it. Okay. It looks very nice. I don't see any problems with it at all. The The paint is really smooth and everything. All the paint is in the lines, you know. Uh, oh, there's a little, I can see a little bit of blue here, okay. Looks like they messed up on the paint there or something, I don't know. Okay. But for the most part, pretty nice, that's what I'll say. It's a, I think the, the gold paint is the, uh, like more a gloss paint, kind of like the paint that's on, on our boots. Okay. And the blue paint is kind of like the paint that's on the top of her, uh, stockings, okay. Very nice. Let's go take a look at the rest of her outfit. All right, she's wearing like a um, a purple colored top. You can see a lot of folds in it. Like she's gonna burst out of it. It's like really tight on her body. <laughs> All right, there seems there appears to be some kind of scratches here. I don't know if that's from Belfine or the previous owner, but yeah, that doesn't look good, guys. <laughs> Not good at all. Type of thing. There's like, yeah, there's another little thing right here. I don't know what these are, man. That doesn't look like it's supposed to belong there, all right? But these folds and stuff look like they belong there. Doesn't look like there's any kind of shading on this, this dark paint. Yeah, there's, on the, on the dress, there's like no shading at all. It's interesting. Need the boots to put shading. Um, and then, so, uh, it's, it's got a white border where it's separate. I guess it opens up kind of like a jacket sorta and then uh the bottom border is white all right it's like a 
matte white or something. Okay, and you can't really see the back because then you see your hair. Okay. She's kind of arching her back a little bit. All right, and then, yeah, and then so it goes over her, her boobies. All right. It is also uh, kind of rumored that she doesn't wear, uh, uh, like, yeah, she doesn't wear underwear as, as in, like, a bra, but I, I would think you would see her nipples. <laughs> All right, but, yeah, you don't see her nipples, okay? Maybe the outfit hides it or something. <laughs> so let's say I don't, I don't know because... Um, um, Aqua's really jiggly character, I just want to say. Okay. Can you tell I'm enjoying uh, this this figure show and tell? All right, so she's got this bow on, and it's green. And Oh, this has shading on it. It's green, and then, like, the tips are... It becomes yellow at the tips, all right? And here, it's yellow. It's a solid yellow at the tips, all right? Everything looks very nice, painted in the lines. Good paint. There's a higher shot right there. There's like some kind of gem, a green gem. There's a lot of green and gold on her. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then it just kind of continues. I don't know. She's got some this kind of like collar thing that she's wearing around her neck. It's kind of a weird outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna go lie. It's it's got a um, that kind of like dark purple color, but it's like a glossier than the outfit for the border and then the inside is a white the matte white and then there's another kind of part on the outfit that's like a clear purple kind of like a I guess it's they're trying to make it look like it's a lace color or something <laughs> yeah like you, it's a see-through okay guys okay isn't she cute all right and then let's take a look at the uh, the sleeves all right so they've got she's got these uh, separate kind of sleeves that she wears around her arm it's not attached. It's not attached. So it's like a like an arm sleeve type thing. And it's gold. It's and it's also has a shading. Alright. It's dark. It's some more solid here and lighter here. It's a more white here at the top. And then like there, yeah, there's some kind of scuff here, man. What what the heck? What is there's another one, man. And for how beautiful the paint is on this figure, it, it's kind of sad that there's just all these like kind of defects on it, man. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I'm glad I didn't pay 100 bucks for this. Um, and then here we've got a white, um, matte white, and then the blue. Okay. Sleeve, and you can see inside the sleeve too. Very nice. Same with this one. No shading on the, on the sleeves other than the top part where it's yellow. Okay, and then you can see her skin looks very nice. Just like, just like her booty. Okay. <laughs> And then she's got her hands up, balled up in the fist. Okay, I can't see any kind of a nail polish or anything on her, on her hands, but it look good. Okay, and then we'll go take a look at her face. She's got blue eyes, and she's got her mouth open like she's smiling, looking to the right. She's got blue eyebrows, but she doesn't have blue um, eyelashes, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> They're black eyelashes. She has a nice smooth face, just like the skin. She has the skin of a goddess, guys. Very smooth. She, she must be well moisture. She has well moisturized skin because she's the goddess of water, right? <laughs> okay. All right. And then, and so there's her hair. Her hair looks really nice. Like um, Aqua has really beautiful light blue hair, and you can definitely see in this that she does. All right. Um, so you can see this the hair in the front. She's got like a kind of four locks on the left and the right. And then the bangs, a light blue. Not really any shading on that part. Eh, you know what? It kind of does get lighter here and then darker at the tips. So I guess it does have shading. There is shading in the hair, go, guys. Check this out. See, at the top, it's much lighter than it is at the bottom. It kind of, it's almost like a light blue and then a darker blue. And it kind of transitions to almost like a purple color. Very nice. There's a little white dot right there. And there's like a black dot right here. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely looks like it's painted into the that's a dust painted into the uh the paint man. That's yeah. <laughs> okay, and then there's she's got her hair kind of tied up with this um 
hair ornament. All right, let's go talk about the hair ornament. It's very special, something aqua. All right. So the the air the hair ornament, if you guys didn't know, is uh, the molecular. It's like a molecular model for H2O. All right, the molecule for water. All right. You've got the oxygen and the hydrogen. All right. So the oxygen is the big blue ball. And the yellow ball is a hydrogen, all right? So H2O, right? That's the chemical composition of water. Aqua, right? I didn't, I didn't know that until I went to a panel for uh, Konosuba. <laughs> so I remember. Yeah, I never knew that until they pointed that out. Oh, yeah, aqua, right? <laughs> so, yeah, just in case you, FYI, if you guys didn't know, that's the chemical composition for water, H2O. All right, I almost didn't catch it, but yeah, right here, you can see a defect in the molding right here, right? It looks all kind of yucky looking, okay? Not what I would expect for a $100 price figure. <laughs> not, not what I would expect for a $100 scale figure, okay, guys? Okay, and yeah, so that's it. So, uh, uh, honestly, I'm I'm really impressed by the paint. The paint is really nice. But it has a lot of defects in it, right? I don't know if I got a bad one or it's just, you know, shot QC stuff, all right? But there's just a lot of, like, defects on this, which the, the paint is, is excellent, all right? This this is what I would expect coming from, like, a scale figure, like a $100 plus dollar figure. Yeah, it, it's got a $100 plus dollar figure paint job, but it's just got a lot of defects in it. So would I pay, like, $120 for this figure? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> but the paint is like this, man. The, like I said, the paint is really good, but it's got defects like here. There was something on the boots. Like, yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. There's something stuck in there. There's some dust painted into the hair. And there's a white spot here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, and then the biggest, the most glaring one is this one. If you really look up there, yeah, it's like some kind of scratch or something. Like a big chunk of it. Paint doesn't look good, <laughs> okay? Other than that, it's beautiful. Um, it has a lot, I wouldn't say a lot of shading, but it, ha it does have shading and it lo the paint is excellent, I would, I would say. Okay. Um, I think the best paint is probably on the boots, um, cause they're so shiny, you know, but, uh, everything else looks pretty well put together. Everything, the, the molding and the, you know, the, all the sanding they did to the figure, it looks really smooth and nice. All right. So, um, is it prize figure stuff? No, it's not. All right. I, I said it was kind of prize figurey it and it kind of if if you kind of looked from far away then yeah but if you looked at it closer and you looked at the quality of the paint and everything it looks it looks very very nice okay uh, and i think the other best thing about the figure is the hair the hair just looks great she has beautiful blue hair you know and that smiley face of course look at that very nice so there you go that is a uh, that's your figure show and tell for your water goddess Aqua, okay? Your 3D water goddess Aqua from the anime Konosuba. Um, I'm glad I got her for about fifty something dollars. Would, would I pay if it was brand new? Would I have paid fifty something dollars for this figure? Yes, yes, I would. All right, that's about how much you can get like a nice price figure nowadays. Um, would I pay a hundred plus for this figure? No, I wouldn't because just the defects in the paint. If it was if it was a perfect example of, you know, yeah, if it was like perfect, all right, there wasn't any little things in the paint, then yeah, I, would, I wouldn't hesitate to pay like $100 for this figure. Plus, another thing is that. That. That, yeah. <laughs> but not a big fan of that, okay, guys? I want like a flat base, flat stable base. I don't want, if there's an earthquake or something, I don't want her like vibrating around and that kind of stuff, okay? Um... That being said, I think I'm going to keep her in the box because I just I don't have any space for her. Um, maybe I don't know, but yeah, she's she's beautiful. Um, good job, Belfine. Um, you've uh, you've made a a great 3D model of our water goddess Aqua. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I will get some close-ups and 360 shots. That's the end of the video. And I will put some links to some other aqua figures that I have uh, show, done show and tells on in the past at the end of the video. Check those out. Alright, here's what we got.